think the third graders arrived. My name is Mr. Peace, and today I'm going to be talking a lot about responsibility and about character. Okay? And um, I was told that you guys have learned a lot about character traits recently. Is that right? So what are some of the what are some of the traits that you guys have learned about? Determination? Is that one of them? Think you heard about that? Yeah, what are you gonna say? Honesty? I think someone that mentioned friendship last last class. What are you gonna say? Teamwork? Okay, yeah, what are you gonna say? Never give up. That's a good one. Yeah, what about you? Responsibility. Okay, be responsible. Yeah, what are you gonna say? Do your best. Do your best. Oh, that's a good one. Yeah, what are you doing? Respect. Yeah. Be truthful. Yeah. Be honest. Okay, good. Good, good, good. So, I want to let you all know real quick, too. Uh, through all the examples that I do today, the music and me talking, every breath that I take is going to be worth your time, okay? So, I was driving here today. Run a little bit behind. And I'm, so I'm kind of already going a little fast, right? And this car passes me. And I'm like, oh no. Oh no, you did not just pass me. You did not just pass me. I do not like getting passed. I don't. So, what did I do? I sped up a little bit faster, you know, and passed him back. I'm like, who you Grandma? Alright? I'm like waving the Bible and all of a sudden, boom! A whole family of deer. Right in front of my car. So I swerved out of the way and I'm like, oh, I'm just missing by, a, by an inch. And I pulled my car over to the side because like, I was all shook it up. I was like, oh man. Just trying to get my breath back, you know? And I pulled over. And I'm just sitting there like this. I'm like, oh my gosh, I was so close. And then all of a sudden I hear this knock on my, on my window. So, <laughs> and I look over, and it's that deer. He has like his little hook, his paws, like, yeah, little no window down like that. And I'm like, what? Oh! And he's like, right by the window. So I'm like, so I roll my window down, okay? And he's like, Mr. Peace. I'm like, what? How'd you know my name? And he's like, I saw your license plate. I said, like, okay, okay. And uh, he's like, Mr. Peace, do you see what just happened there? I said, yeah, man, the guy just passed me. I'm like, I'm going to let him pass me like that. I passed him back and then I almost wrecked my car, you know? He's like, no. You almost just killed me and my family. Because you were so concerned about going up on somebody, comparing yourself to somebody. And you guys got Facebook? Or have you guys heard Facebook? Facebook? Okay. So, Facebook, they got these things called rankings. So you can like compare yourself to other people like who has a better smelling breath or um, like who's got the nicest eyes. Well last night, my rankings for the hottest body, they, they dropped 10 points and I was upset. Because look at me, right? right? This is steel. This is steel here. But I don't know why you're laughing. But um, anyways, you think about all the times in our life where we compare ourselves to other people based on the brain you want to close, the hairstyle, what kind of things they have, what kind of car their parents drive, what kind of house they live in. A lot of times we're more focused on the things than the people in our life. What is your name? Let's say again. Dion. Dion. So, how many of you would like we know that?
you know, there's a kicker, it's cool, right? And then I go home and I get a call from Linnea, is that what it was? Linnea is like, yo, Mr. Peace. I'm like, hey Linnea, what's going on, girl, how you doing? And he's like, he's like, look, I saw your name with Alexa earlier today. What's up with that? And I'm like, what are you talking about, Linnea? I mean, no, no, no. That wasn't me, that wasn't me, no, no, no. She's like, I thought that was you. I'm like, no, 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 no. And then, uh, so we, you know, we're, we're all cool and we're like, okay, let's move along or something like that, right? But here's what we can do. We can say, hold the phone, get a timeout. Okay, 30 seconds, right? Hold the phone. Because right there, right in that spot, guys, right in this spot that I just told you about, right? That's the point. So I need to have an opportunity to stand up for who I consider to be my friend, Alexa, or I just kind of say, hey, goodbye, as soon as my other friend comes along. And what did that do to Alexa if I choose to just say, oh, no, 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 that's not my friend. That just hurt her a lot, right? So you talk about character, responsibility. All of us have a responsibility. Okay? And that's to take the time to show that we care about people. And not be a 50% friend of somebody. Because that's what I was doing right here. Is I'm only friends with Alexa when it's cool for me, when it's convenient for me. But in the process, I just hurt her a lot. So I'm either 0% friends or 100% friends. There's no in between. How many of you guys take a shower? Okay, we got some hygiene. Some good people out there. Okay. And you guys use for lessons? Or, okay. um, condition? No, no. Alright, let's stop. Uh, I took a shower a couple, couple weeks back. Okay? I'm going to read it for you. Uh, what was your name? Nice. Hold this So, I was in the shower. Voice, yeah, it was I, Bulldog, that flushed the toilet. I said, Bulldog, 
what? You talk? I'm like, what? Wait, what? Why? Why? Why would you do that? He's like, I was trying to be my son. And I said, boy, I mean, couldn't you have done it some other way? He said, no, my son, that was more funny. And I said, boy. Oh, right. So then he starts talking about, oh, excuse me. And he starts talking and he's like, he says, I was trying to prove a point. And he said, what did you want to do when it was really, really hot? And I go back to where it was comfy, right? When it was cold, you want to go back to where it's comfy. But he's like, that's what it is with friendships, too. That either, either you get hot or you're cold. And being in that in-between point, even though that's more comfortable sometimes, that's not being real. And that can hurt a lot of people in the process. So either you're 100% friends or you're 0%. And think about this too. How many of you guys in the winter months here in Michigan, you guys wake up in the morning and, and you're getting dressed, right? And that heater comes on, and you get dressed by the heater. You guys love that? Me too. And I'm just like, and the heater's like, oh, yeah, you know? And the, and the heater goes off, you're like, oh, no, 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 come back on. Come on. Chilling out, having like iced tea and stuff like that, reading a book or something like that, reading some Harry Potter. Like, oh, look at that sun! Oh yeah! Oh yeah! And then the sun goes behind the clouds, and you're like, no, no, oh, Mr. Sun, Sun, Mr. Golden Sun, please shine down on me. Oh, Mr. Sun, Sun, Mr. Golden Sun, shine down on me. Oh, Mr. Sun, Sun, Mr. Golden Sun, hide behind the tree. What's your name? That's Sidia. So red team really wants to play with you. So please come out so she can play with you. And Mr. Sun, Sun, Mr. Golden Sun, please shine down on, please shine down on, please shine down on. Jim and me. Because we all have to right? We all have to And again, I'm just trying to prove a point. I'm just trying to see the point of all the way out Is that either, either you're hot? Either you're hot with friendships, right? With the sun? Or you're cold. But you're not in between, right? So we have a responsibility to be 100% friends with people, okay? Now, our second responsibility is to treat everybody like our best friends. How many of you guys are best friends? Okay, okay, good, good. Alright. What makes what makes that person a best friend to you? What makes that person a best friend to you? That's our game. That's our game. Honesty. Honesty. Okay, that's we're honest. Yeah, what makes a person a best friend? He's nice to you. Yeah. What makes a person a best friend? And she's very honest. Nice, honest, caring, compassionate. Yeah. What about you? Okay, so, she, so does she like give some of her time? Okay, okay, good. Yes. Always there for you, always got your back. Yeah, yeah, but. Uh, helps you. Helps you, helps you when you're feeling down, when you're feeling sad, yeah. Always, always there for you, probably. Yeah, there we go, okay, yeah. Did you say something? Okay, no, we won't hear that. Oh, friendly, nice, thoughtful, funny, honest, got your back. All you guys, all you guys got these things that make someone the best friend of you. But here's what I don't get. Here's what I don't understand. Someone's got to explain this to me, okay? That I've asked this question to thousands of people in my life, just like you, people just like you. And nobody ever tells me, nobody ever tells me that the reason that someone's the best friend of them is because of how much money their parents make, or how rich they are, or what kind of brand their clothes are, what kind of style they have, whether or not they're in shape or not. Nobody ever says the things. It's always about if they were honest, if they're caring, they're thoughtful. What's inside, right? Why is that? Why doesn't anybody ever mention the things? Because why? Wait, so yeah, go ahead. Just shout it out. Well, yeah, well. Because 
Because it's not nice. Okay. All right. Oh. Yeah, what are you going to say? Let's see. Can't judge by its color. Thanks, brother. All right, thank you. Can't judge, yeah, what are you going to say? Can't judge by the color of their skin. I like that one. Yeah. So, I mean, one reason, I mean, all these things, all these things that the things just really don't matter. So, listen, what I've compared this to, guys, listen up. What I've compared this to is that our responsibility is like a McDonald's happy meal. I'm trying to be serious. I'm trying to be serious here. I got people laughing. Alright, so listen. What, what, did they put, what did they put in a happy meal to make you happy? To make you feel happy? What is it? Just, just shout it out. Toys. 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 Yeah. Yeah. So listen. So listen. Here's why. Here's why I've compared our responsibility to other people. To a McDonald's happy because when you think of McDonald's, you, you think of the golden arches, right? Like the big M in gold, right? There's this thing, it's called the golden rule. The golden rule. And it states that you treat others, treat others as you want to be treated. And you don't treat others the way you don't want to be treated. So you, you respect them, you're kind to them, right? Now, this means everybody. It's not just some people, it's to treat everybody like you want to be treated. That's the golden rule. So you want to make everybody feel happy and really good about yourself, just like you do when you get that toy in a happy meal. Okay? See the connection? Got it? So what happens if I go to if I go up to Linnea and I'm real kind to her and nice to her, okay, and I spread some of that happiness. And then she gives some of that kindness to what's your name? Kayla? Say it again. KJ. So she gives some of that to KJ. Pass it along. And then she gives and then KJ gives some of that to what's your name? Nadia. And it just keeps going and going and going. It's like a never ending feeling of happiness and happiness. So it's something to think about. That we want to be 100 percent friends and we want to treat everybody in our life like our best friends. With that golden rule. Okay? But again, all that I'm saying here today talking with you right now, all of this is your choice. All of this is a choice. Whether you want to hurt others or help others. It's up to you. And kind of how you want to be remembered and thought of when people think about you. Okay? Now, I'll give one more example because I think that's going to help reinforce this point even a little bit further. How many of you own PS3, an iPod, a Wii, Xbox 360, iPad, cell phone, a lot of things, a lot of things, a lot of things. Okay, a lot of Now, you guys are in second and third grade, right? Yeah! So can the teachers attest that this group of young people have some pretty good imaginations? Okay, pretty, pretty creative? Okay, good. So what I want you to all imagine and envision, because from what I've heard, you guys are all creative. Is that I have all of your Xboxes, PS3s, Wii's, iPads, iPods, everything up here in a big pile. Big pile, me, okay? Got this whole big pile right here. But it's okay, don't worry about it. It's all cool, but they're all safe for now. So, how many guys play basketball? I know you can do over there. Oh boy. Alright. Kobe? Alright. Hit me, baby. Hit me. Hit me. Hit me. Alright, thank you. So, I have a basketball. I love basketball. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. And, however, this basketball is not a basketball. It's a bowling ball, okay? So I just kind of casually, in my Mr. Peace, piece the way, make my way over to this pile of Xbox 360s and PS3s, like that, like that. And I'm like, oh. Hey, what do we have here? Oh, look, man. Some iPods, some iPads, some Xbox 
got some sisters, some Lee, some Peter's three school. And it's not an accident, a bowling ball. Your heart. 
Close your eyes right now. Close your eyes right now. I want you to raise your hand if you've ever been picked on, bullied, teased, harassed, made fun of, told you're not good enough. If you've ever been teased or bullied, to raise your hand. Okay? Or picked on. Raise your hand. Keep it raised high. Keep your eyes closed. All right, now keeping your hand raised, if you raise it, open your eyes and take a look around. Look at everybody that's been hurt before. Something to think about is, has it been one of us that has hurt one of these people? Here in this room or in our life? Has it been one of us that has added to someone else's pain? That we know for a lot of us is still very raw in our hearts. You see, sometimes, People only remember your heart. That's all they remember. In your heart, when you're, when, when, when you're first conceived in your mother's womb, okay, your heart forms before the brain. Because your heart's that important. It's that important. We talked about character traits and bullying and all that stuff, right? There's this example that I like to come back to. Starfish, okay? And there was this little girl, probably your age, how old age? Yeah, she was seven. And she was on this beach, and there's all these starfish washed up on the beach, you know? And she starts, I mean, there's, there's hundreds, thousands of starfish. She starts picking one up at a time and throwing them back in the water, because if they don't get thrown back in, then they're going to die. But they got washed up in this tide, right? She's going to take one, like one at a time. So this old man comes out to her, he's like, what are you doing? There's no way you're going to be able to save all these starfish. There's, there's thousands. And she said, I know. And then she threw another one in the ocean. But you know what? It's going to make a difference to this one. So all of us have that potential. All you guys do. That's what I wrote on this. That's what I wrote on this sheet that I gave you guys. There's a quote. I said, I believe in you and know you will touch many lives during your lifetime because of your open heart. And I believe that. You guys have already touched a lot of lives. You guys just touched my heart today by being real, by being honest, by showing your character. And you guys can keep doing that. I've compared people to bowling balls and balloons. To bowling balls and balloons. I compare people to. Okay? And you're thinking to yourself, Mr. Peace, why are you comparing us to bowling balls and balloons, you silly goose? Well, I'll tell you why. Because people that are like bowling balls in my life, people that are solid, they got a lot of character, they got a lot of integrity, a lot of honesty, a lot of determination, they got principles, values, morals, and they're, they're just strong. The people that are like balloons are empty. They're empty. And they are just willing to follow all the crowds, all the people that say, hey man, let's do this. Let's make fun of this person. Let's not take them on our team. Let's not include them. And they say, okay, because they're not strong enough and don't have enough courage to do what's right and stand up for what they can, even if that means getting made fun of. So what's going to go farther if I throw both these at the same time? What's going to go farther? Bowling ball or balloon? What do you think? Bowling ball or balloon? Let's see. One, two, three, go. Here it goes, here it goes. Come on, come on, come back, come back, come back, come back, come back. Good. All right. Now, what's going to happen if something comes along to this bowling ball, right? Somebody telling you to do something that's not right. Who's going to be less effective when something like a needle comes along? What do you think? Who's going to be less effective? Tell the teacher? Okay. What are you going to say? Okay, go ahead. Be strong for yourself. Be strong for yourself. So that's what you need to do to be less effective. Because what happens when this needle comes to this bowling ball? Not a whole lot. Not a whole lot. When it comes to the balloon, when it comes to the balloon, it pops. Right? 
Some of you guys want to think about that. Are you, are you under the bowling ball? Are you under the bowling ball or the balloon? Right? Alright, so here's what we're going to do. Listen, man, we only got a couple minutes, okay? So I want to close with some hip hop. Is that cool? Yeah! Okay. So what I need, mean, who likes to dance? Okay. If you like to dance, I want you to come up by me up here. And everybody else can stand up, okay? Everybody else stand up. Alright, hey. Can you hold this right for me? Hold this right for me for a second.